Do you want to you wanna take this stand right here and just share, since it's a little shorter? <laughs> it took you guys way too long. <laughs> Uh, praise the Lord. Um, I, I don't, I haven't thought about doing anything, so I'll just give you the brief on it because there's so much more that will come out of this, um, much of which I'm not sharing yet. Uh, but we all know the Lord is good, right? And he gave me a series of lead-in warnings to this that um, were it not orchestrated the way it was, who knows where I would have been and what would have might, might have been going on um, when the heart attack actually happened. I hesitated to even call it that. I don't like calling it that. I don't want to admit I had one, I guess, in a way. But uh, when you see it on your paperwork from the hospital, there's no question that's what occurred. But um, I have no family history of anything that would lead to a heart attack. I don't have the markers that would say that I should be a person prone to heart attack. Um, this was the design, or this one was the kind that has plaque, where the, the PEs and things I took in the past, that most of you know that testimony that occurred in 09 was a blood clot, totally different things. But, so here's the testimony. I have been saying for a long time that maybe I had COVID back in March because my shortness of breath was a problem, and I had been very bad uh, sinus issues then, which went away. And I could not explain this shortness of breath issue that I was having, but it seemed to be getting worse. So on Monday, not this Monday, but the week before, Charlie and I were doing some work for a mutual friend. And through the course of that day, I was unexplainably almost able to, not able to breathe. I, any little exertion was dropping me. I was like, man, I don't know what's going on. By God's grace, that night, one of my best friends from way back calls me and says, you want to walk at the branch with me? I'm retired now two weeks ago. And I said, yeah, I'd love to. I'd never do that for any other reason than for this friend and the desire to reach out to him with the Lord. And in time, this is going to have fruit. But we started walking, and I couldn't go. We had a mile loop is all we were doing. <clears throat> and I'd have to stop three, four times. I'm sucking air so bad. And I'm just like, I don't know what's the matter with me. And at the last time, the last loop, three-quarters of the way through it, John Wood pulls by me. And I'm sitting up against a, flag, or a light post, and my friend's going back to get the car to come get me. And uh, I asked him, I said, John, pray. I don't know what's going on. So the next morning I get up, I'm feeling bad. I go back to lay down. I'm like, this something's real wrong. So I get up again, and I have in my mind, I'm going to go over to a quick clinic that, or the uh, urgent care. And I already had a plan laid out through Randy Mills, a doctor friend who's been here before and talked. And um, so I jump in the shower. And I'm coming out of the shower, and I'm feeling really light and queasy. And I look, and my hands are white, my feet are white. I know something's real wrong. I holler for Evelyn, and then she comes up, and we call the squad. And to the praises of Licking Memorial, in probably 45, 50 minutes from the time from there, I'm in recovery with a stint and doing wonderfully. Amen. Riverside is amazed at what they were able to do. They saw things that I carried into their hospital. They're like, wow, we don't have that yet. So when you are quick to criticize Licking, even Riverside was pleased with what they saw come out of there. My testimony for what I will give right now and all, all I really want to speak of at this point is that the Lord has your back. Amen. He had given me warnings that that will be in the upcoming testimony. But he had given me warnings and he was speaking to me. And this is the fruition of a lot of what has been going on in my life. And regardless... He has our best interest in mind. Amen. And through his power and his grace and hand upon me, I was able to come out of this in, in short order. And while in the hospital with that, I also was discovered to have a uh, ulcer in my lower esophagus. I had no idea it even existed because when they gave me the blood thinner, I began to bleed out. 
that was the internal bleeding. It was, as I say, it's like filling up a, a tire that has a hole in it and just coming in one end, going out the other. They had no idea where the bleed was occurring, but everything they put in was going out faster than they could put it in. But that's being dealt with. Um, so it's revealed another issue. And basically, there's the only finger you can put on this at this point is it probably has to do, if you're going to blame anything, my eating habits. But that's a story yet to come. In the meantime, I praise the Lord. I, you know, it's easy to, for me, as the kind of guy most of us guys overlook our health issues and kind of blow them off. Two days, three days later, I'm up getting around, and I'm like, I can't even believe this thing happened. It just doesn't even seem like it's possible. My breathing has returned. It's not fully restored, but that has. But I just want to praise the Lord. In that moment, when you're down and you're being carted away, I never thought of him in that time because so much was going on. Prior to it, as I sat at my table, I just said, Lord, just put your hand on me and protect me. And when it was all over, then now I can sing the praises. And I'm just so thankful that God's even there when we're not, our mind isn't even focused on him. Would you praise and worship? Would you praise and worship this morning? So, Father, all that said, you are so gracious. Father, I don't know how or why you determined that it's okay to allow us to go on in rebellion, in struggle, in strife. Lord, I pray for unity in this church and in your body. Lord, we don't know why it is that you just keep extending your grace over and over and over again. But we're thankful for it. But Lord, still your hand is upon us. We thank you in Jesus' name.